Hello and welcome back to the course on machine learning. Super excited to have you on board and today I'm going to show you how to install R Studio and the R programming language onto your computer. So it doesn't matter whether you have a Mac or a Windows PC, uh, the steps are very, very similar. I'm going to be doing this on a Windows PC, so just follow along and we'll get it sorted in no time. All right, so first thing you'll need is, as always, a browser. So I've got my Chrome browser here and the first website that we need to go to is uh, HTTPS uh, colon slash slash, you don't need to type that in, uh, just uh, cran, C-R-A-N dot R hyphen project dot org. And so if you go here, you will see a page like this and here you can download R for Linux, Mac or Windows. So I'm going to install R for Windows and that's why I'm going to click this link here, but select the version that's uh, best for your machine. And then once we here, um, all we need to do is click this link. This is what you want to install. This is what you want to install R for the first time. So they're just showing you here, here exactly. And then just install the latest version of R. So actually just download it. You'll get an exe file for Windows. And uh, then you'll just need to run it and that will install the R programming language onto your machine. So I'm just gonna, while it's downloading, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like for uh, Mac. So if you go for the Mac version, and then here, you just need to kind of read through um, some of these comments, I guess, and uh, download this version over here. Uh, this is the latest one. Uh, again, it depends on the version of your Mac. If you have the latest version of Mac, then it'll be obvious which version to download. So you'd probably get this version over here and download it onto your Mac. And obviously I don't need that version because my computer is a Windows. And then once you have R uh, downloaded, just run this file. Uh, it's gonna ask, Windows might ask you some security questions and then, uh, select OK, and then it's just the standard installation process. Just go through this. I'm not going to do this because I already have it installed. Best, of course, to install it on, on the recommended drive. And once it's installed, that's it. So you've got R on your machine. But the thing here is that we also need an IDE, an integrated development environment to work with R. And the best uh, environment for working with R and that, uh, that I find and probably most people find is RStudio. It's a... Um, environment developed specifically for working with R, and it is very, very convenient for a data science type of thing. So to get RStudio, you need to go to www.rstudio.com, one word, and then just click RStudio over here in the bottom. And next in uh, this, on this page, just scroll down and download RStudio desktop. So it's a free software, just as R is free. RStudio is also free, so just download RStudio for desktop, and then it's gonna take you to a download page, and then you just need, uh, make sure just to get the free one, you don't need the commercial license. Uh, so you need RStudio Desktop, click Download, and then Installers. So again, select your platform, whether it's Windows, Mac, or something else, and just in, uh, download the installer. And there you go, it's gonna download to your computer, give it a second, it's gonna start loading just now. There it is, and so once it's loaded, again, all you have to do is run the installation process, very straightforward, and when it's all done, you'll get our studio. Uh, you'll be able to launch our studio, which will automatically detect the R uh, programming language, which you installed into your machine earlier. And so our studio looks like this. Congratulations if you've gotten up to this step. That means you've installed our studio. So I'm just gonna expand it to full screen mode here, and this is exactly the environment that we're going to be working in. And uh, hopefully you've, you're already somewhat familiar with R and that'll help you pick up the tutorials that are upcoming uh, very quickly. And just to finish off today's tutorial, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can customize R Studio. So if you're on Windows, you need to go to tool, uh, tools and go to global options. On a Mac, it'll be somewhere in, uh, on the left, there'll be a button R Studio and then it'll be preferences, or you can also go through tools and it's either preferences or global options. It's not, it's not that hard to locate. It's a bit different on a Mac, but still the same, same kind of menu that you're looking for. And then in appearance, you can change the appearance of your R Studio. So it's up to you, it's your individual preference. Uh, you can change what it looks like. So let me click apply. Let me try a different one. <laughs> that wasn't a good choice. So Cobalt is a good one. And then you can change the size. So like I'm going to uh, change the size and in this course you'll see that the size is changed so that we can see better the code, but you don't have to. And then you can just change uh, the different color schemes you want for your code and you've got some lovely previews over here and that just helps you uh, better adjust our studio to your 
preference. So if you want to default, then you just select text mate and it will be the default version. And to finish off, let's just quickly uh, type in the uh, standard uh, coding practice for when you install a new uh, programming language on computer. So we'll just type in print and then in brackets, hello world. That'll be our first program in our studio. So just press enter after that and there you go. Um, it's a run for you. On a Mac, I think it's command return to run some code. So there we go. That's our studio installed. And I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial. Until then, enjoy machine learning.